My family has been with this bank since my father-in-law started it. Are you a relation? This is my son. No, either you can't see the uncanny resemblance or you're implying she's under duress. Now what I want is $260,000 in cash. Is everything okay? When someone needs that amount of money in cash, nothing's okay. How are you doing today, Robert? I'm very well, thank you. How's Mermaid treating you so far? Good, very quick. Let's talk about The Gambler. What got your attention in this project? Um, the title, funnily enough. I mean, I think it was it was something that was really appealing to me on the, on the, on the level of all of the choices we make in our lives, the, the gambles that we take. Less about the casino gambling aspect of the story, but more about uh, the chances we make, we take, I guess. And what about uh, Mark Wahlberg? What got your attention in pick him to, to play Jim? Well, it was kind of two for one, actually, funny. <laughs> he, he came with the project, as in he, he contacted me with the script and asked me to take a look at it. Um, and uh, I fell in love with the script when I first read it. And, um, I'd always wanted to work with him as an actor, so uh, so it was a really appealing combination. Yeah, it's really cool. And him with John Goodman was awesome. The scene was really good. Great. Uh, I want to ask you, do you do you gamble? Um, I guess I do. I mean, I'm not I'm not a hardcore gambler, um, but like I said, in some ways, I was more attracted to the idea of the gambles we make in our life, and and certainly, I think the choices that we we make and, and all of that side of things was really appealing to me. I don't want to say that this is a remake of the 1974, but what's the element that you, you think is different from the, the, the first movie? I think, the, I mean, the original f for me always was a, a study of addiction, and this, this film is very much uh, not that. It's the story of a man who I don't believe is a gambling addict in any, in any shape or form. He's a guy who uses gambling as a means of escape. He doesn't like his life. He's not happy with all of these, all of these kind of social trappings that he's been um, bestowed in some, some shape or form, whether they be his upbringing, his, his education, his family wealth, all of these things have combined for a guy who doesn't really feel like he belongs. And so he wants to get rid of all of that and start again. Um, which is kind of like an overdog wanting to become an underdog, so it's quite interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. And the, the cast is really, really, really good. Uh, Jessica Lange, John Goodman. Mm. Are you guys, you guys have the, the, those actors in mind already? Or? Yeah, when I, when I first um, started working, one of the first jobs obviously is to start to cast um, and start to build your, your world, and in, in, in that case, the characters. Um, it doesn't always happen, but in this case, I had my first choices. I was very lucky in the sense that I got, uh, I got all of my first choices to say yes, which I think had a lot to do with the script and also uh, building an ensemble around Mark. Uh, are you working any any new blockbusters or any new independent movies right now? Um, after this one? Yeah, I'm always working. I'm I'm just pushing things up the hill. Really, uh, I I would love to get back to. Uh, making something that I build myself from the ground up like I did with my first okay. film. Um, but then there are studio films um, that are also really appealing. It's just, for me, it's all about the story. What, what is the most appealing story to tell? Yeah, and why should I go watch The Gambler? Why should I tell my, my readers, my viewers? I think it's one of those few mainstream movies that actually focuses on character and my job as a filmmaker, first and foremost, is always to entertain. And I think that combination, if one can tell a story in, a, in an entertaining fashion that also challenges and provokes and gets under the skin of characters, and actually characters where there are repercussions to their actions. A lot of movies these days, you know, everyone seems invincible yeah. and, and we know that we're not. So to actually go and watch a story where the characters are very human, I think is, is, uh, is to me very appealing. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Robert, and congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. All right. Birth, education, intelligence. Just do it. 21. Talent. Again. Looks. Player wins. I've seen you be half a million dollars up. I'm putting up two and a half million dollars. You got me feeling lucky. I'm putting everything on black. Red's been coming up all night. You want me to pay you now? Maybe I enjoy watching the show. 19 red. What's wrong with you? You got brain damage? Rough way to start the week. If you take away nothing else from my class, desiring a thing 
cannot make you have it. I want to go to a restaurant. I need you to leave. Because I've seen you in your other life? You owe money two places you shouldn't. Why do you want door number three? It's the only way I'll get out. I've said goodbye before to people I love. Now, whatever did happen to Dad? Let's just deal with this gentleman who understand each other, please. No. I need for us to treat each other like we're not gentlemen and that we're very, very stupid. What'll they do to you if you don't pay? Break every bone in my body? How am I gonna get my money, Jim? I look like a magician. You must have thought you was magic occasionally. If I have to pull you into an inappropriate relationship to get you out of your job, I'm ready to go. So am I. What if I told you that I'm not a gambler? A real love, a real thing to do every day, and I'd just rather die if I don't get it. I just say that out loud. If I give you this money and you don't pay me back, there are no rules. You understand the gravity of your situation. I know what I have to do. All or nothing, all the money down.